With interest rates rising over the last year to year and a half, I've got quite a few clients that have been sitting on the fence waiting for the right time to buy or sell. Most of them reach out to me pretty regularly to get an update on the market to see if the right time has come. And I thought you might be wondering the same thing, so I put together a video here that's gonna review the market in Hampton Roads, and then also we'll talk about where the mortgage rates sit as of today. And there's not gonna be a lot of fluff in this video, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. So today, the market data that we're gonna be looking at is coming from our local MLS here in Hampton Roads, and that would be the Real Estate Information Network. I have access to that as I'm a realtor here in Hampton Roads. So if you have any further questions not in this video that I don't cover, please put those in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me. So first thing we're gonna look at is the median sales price in Hampton Roads. So when I say Hampton Roads, I'm talking about not only the south side to include Suffolk, Portsmouth, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and Chesapeake, but also on the peninsula on the other side of the water to include Newport News, Hampton, and Pocosin. So for the sake of these numbers, that's what I'm calling Hampton Roads. And currently, as of November, the median sales price is 320,000, which is actually flat versus last month, but it is up 9.6% versus a year ago. And when you're looking at some of the other individual cities themselves, as that was the Hampton Roads numbers, Pocosin is the highest median sales price currently. As a quarter three, they were at 385,000. And then moving a little further down, three cities kind of sit right at the same spot, Chesapeake, Suffolk, and Virginia Beach at 365,000. Then moving a little farther down, you have Norfolk, which is at 300,000 median sales price. And then down there on the bottom, you have Portsmouth and Hampton right around the same spot as well with 235,000. I'm sorry, with 255,000. So that was looking at the median sales price. Another factor I like to look at when deciding what the market's currently doing would be the amount of actual sales itself. Historically, going out into the fall time, into the holiday season, we usually see the number of sales actually dip. So what we're gonna do here to get an apples to apples comparison is compare it to last year. So it's the same time frame. And when you look at the settled sales, in Hampton Roads, we had 1,413 sales during the month of November. Versus a year ago, that was actually down 14.6%. I think the mortgage rates have a lot to do with the amount of sales we're seeing right now, as a lot of people have mortgage rates under 4%. So really with the mortgage rates where they sit right now being much higher than 4%, people aren't really wanting to sell their house, nor are people who are looking to buy a house really wanting those interest rates that were up to six or 7% not too long ago. Then another stat I like to look at just rounds out the whole pricing structure, and that would be the price per square foot. And the median price per square foot in Hampton Roads is 193 square feet. Obviously this will change depending on what city you're in. And we do have a lot of new construction that sometimes can drive that price up a little bit, but that's where your median sales price is right now for square foot at $193. So before we get into the most important thing that I look at when deciding what the market's currently sitting at, if you're getting any value out of this video, if you would do me a favor and hit that like button down below. Also, if you have any questions, I read the comments all the time and I'd love to answer your question. So hit it up down there below me. And if you are thinking about moving, we mentioned the city of Hampton, Virginia being one of the cheaper options in our area at 255,000, I believe. Take a look at this video I did right here on the pros and cons recently of Hampton, Virginia. And let's go ahead and get into the most important thing I look at when figuring out how the market is doing in Hampton Roads. So I always look at the actual months of supply that are currently on hand when looking at what type of market we're currently in. As when we look at months of supply, what we're saying is if, it, let's just say for instance, there's three months of supply. What that means is if the market did not come up with another house for sale, it would take about three months to get rid of all current inventory. And six months is about a balanced market where it's not a buyer or a seller's market. And here in the last two or three years, we've really had lower than normal inventory. So it has really made it a seller's market. And currently in Hampton Roads, we are sitting at a months of supply of 2.6 months of supply. So we're still definitely in the seller's market territory. And that is actually up 16.7%. So if you are a buyer, that is good news that it is creeping up. 
because usually as it goes higher, there's gonna be more houses out there for you to look at, but also you might be able to get some concessions from the seller, as that has not been happening more recently, as houses have been going on the market, flying right off the shelves. So that's a quick look at the market here in Hampton Roads and what it's doing. As you can see, currently I still think it is a seller's market, but I also think in the springtime, we are gonna get a lot more people into the market as the mortgage rates hopefully continue to tick down and then there will be hopefully more houses for sale. And all those people I discussed that were sitting on the fence, they might be coming off that fence here in the springtime. But let's go ahead and look at the mortgage rates because I know that's really important to you as that's what determines how much you're gonna pay for your house on a monthly basis. Unless you are able to pay for cash for your house, which is also awesome if you can do that, but the majority of people cannot. So mortgage rate wise, where I'm getting this information from, I use a website called Mortgage News Daily and the FHA rate currently, according to Mortgage News Daily, sitting at 6.1% which is definitely down what it was a month ago when it was over almost 7%, actually about two months ago. VA loan is also sitting at 6.1%. Then you have your conventional loans. One of the things different about conventional loans is there is no private mortgage insurance that you have to pay. You usually have to have a little bit better credit and you usually have to put some amount of down between five and 20% down to get a conventional loan. But I'm not a mortgage expert, so definitely make sure you get a hold of one. I have some great ones, so comment below and I can get you in contact with some great mortgage professionals. All right, so that was a real quick run through on what the market is doing currently in Hampton Roads. Probably asking yourself, what city should I live in if I'm deciding to move? Well, take a look at the video I did right here as I go over the pros and cons of all the cities in Hampton Roads. And until the next time, I hope you have a great day, happy holidays, and I will see you on the next video.